all set and racing away nice start for them over here as they come to the finishing line for the first time flying first class barney's pride first time over the trip is going off to show the way on the outside is Coromandel, an Indian war dance. Rule book behind that with Breeze Oven over to you. Then kind Judy American Grayson is racing towards the rear and the cop is the trailer. Giving them about 11 or 12 lens start as they go to that first turn and Indian war dance past the two twos picked it up. Indian war dance, the new leader from Barney's Pride in second, Coromandel is racing up in third with flying first class and fourth and then rule book is followed by kind Judy on their outside then breeze over in the white sleeves racing about eight or nine lengths off the leader American Grayson directly behind it on the uh, turn there racing uh, two lengths behind breeze over racing towards the rear end of the field and that's got uh, 10 11 lengths to make up with over to you and behind that is the cop as they head down the back straight now and approach the mile start 1600 meters to go and Indian war dance clears away three lengths Barney's pride second Coromandel racing back in third then came flying first class just being overtaken there by rule book but they race together breeze over finds itself on the outside of American Grayson and they're racing seven or eight lengths off the leader now further back to over to you in the cop of the trailer still but slightly more compact eight or nine lengths cover them with 1200 meters left to go and it's Indian war dance by three and a half lengths here the leader kicked away three and a half lengths from Barney's pride and Coromandel back in third position now in behind that in fourth is flying first class is followed by rule book and kind Judy's trap very deep behind those then came breeze over an American grace and they raced together eight lengths off the leader over to you is behind that and the cop is the trailer they're about to hit the top of the strip they got 700 to go Indian war dance the leader by five lengths or so from Barney's pride and Coromandel Mandel. Rule book races behind that with flying first class. Here's Breeze over an American Grace, and they're going to take off together. Seven lengths off the leader. Kind Judy is in behind those with over to you and the cop now as they enter the home straight. They've got 500 meters left to go. American War Dance, the leader. American Grayson moves in on the outside is Rule book, and then came Breeze over towards the outside. Further back to Coromandel. 250 meters left to go. Rule book has struck the front. Breeze over. American Grayson is down the inside over to use finding a finish it's on the outside rule book here comes breeze over an american grayson on the inside rule book continues to roll though rule book's going all the way rule book's going to win it a length and a half to two breeze over second american grayson third then over to you flying first class indian war dance was followed in behind that by cotter mandel and then came the rest of the field the cop kind judy finished in behind those who tried the distance and uh, patently didn't work. Right, let's have a look at the closing stages again. Head on replay. You'll see on the outside, rule book has hit the front. Behind that, breeze over. Runs or tries to run on. Does get within two lengths of it, but never looked a real threat as rule book kicks away again. American Grayson is clearly looking for the outside stand side track here and over to you is fourth and that will wrap up racing today from Turfontaine glad that you enjoyed it with us with our sponsors Betway of which they've had uh, many people representing them on the course today I don't know if any of them had a bet though that was the only issue but with that said it's back to the studio and we'll join you again on Thursday from the Vol. All right, that's how we close off racing. It's Rule Book who's turned the form around. Uh, that battleground run back on the 9th of September. Um, good ride, I must add, by Phyllis and Trolley. A big well done to Alec Led and, of course, to Mr. Cornwall. Uh, becomes a four-time winner from 15 starts. Uh, good pickup ride, Phyllis Sunday. I know that JP obviously has been riding this individual for a large part of his career. But um, when I saw you as close to the speed this afternoon, I always thought, all right, he's got a big chance because we know he can unwind. And um, he looked to be cherry Ripe. A word was from Mr. Laird that he was doing well back at home. So good ride from you. Well done. Yeah, thank you so much. You know, he's always been consistent. This was, and I used to ride him when he was a two-year-old, so I know him very well. But today he had a draw, a nice draw, and carrying a lightweight. So I always knew that if I get him out well, it shouldn't be a problem. That should be a big runner. He should be. He should run well. But the position I was sitting on, I was very comfortable, and they went a nice pace, and he was relaxed there. And there by the, before the first rail, I sort of pulled out, then I started get going early, because I know he's a horse that likes to build up early. 
Look, he's one of those horses that stays every inch of the trip. Um, we know that he's got no problem with staying. So, Phyllis Sunday, well done to you. Uh, I'm sure it's a big opportunity that's going to open some doors with Mr. Led. So, congratulations to yourself and obviously to the owners. Yeah, thank you so much. I just want to thank Mr. Led for giving me this great opportunity. Also, thanks to the owners as well for giving me this great opportunity. And also, thanks to my sponsor, Stone Storm. Sorry about the cap. The cap, uh, they didn't bring it down. It's in the jockey room. That's all right. Well done, Phyllis Sunday. Good double today. Thank you so much, sir. There we go. Yeah, I'm sure Willem Ackerman will forgive Phil Sunday for this one chance. Well done, Mr. Laird. Um, thanks for your comments to Andrew Bond. I did happen to watch it on 4Racing.tv. And um, a horse that you said was in a good space back at home. Yeah, he, um, he, it took him a few runs to get back to his best. Um, I, I don't know if you picked up, but he had a, a serious colic operation. And um, this has gone somewhere to paying back the, the vet bills. Yeah. Um, but Grant... Uh, We've got a long way to go with him. He's still the youngest horse in a way, and, and he hasn't had a lot of racing. And he stays, so we hopefully this is the first of more. Just going back to your run in the first, um, birthrights, what happened over there, Mr. Led? Uh, well, you have to understand pace. I mean, I looked at the pace, the, the time of that race is yeah. one one thirty, And the average for a maiden 2000 is not a good field, really. The average is 127. He clocked 131. That's that's a long way. It, he just went too slow. He's a big horse. He can't he can't sprint. I mean, if you go back to his very first run, he ran a very promising fourth in a in a 1200. But he was chased the whole way. And and today, going too easy and trying to sprint 600 is not going to gonna happen. So unfortunately, for for the punters and for, for everybody, it, it was embarrassing. But. Um, it was just one of those slow run races and I think um, we should have let him stride or it, it would have been better if he even, even made his own pace, I think. Well, Mr. Led, um, just to put a smile on your face, you've wrapped up racing. Congratulations. Yeah, this is... Uh, I, mean, I thought he'd go close last time, but he was still a little bit rusty. This time he was well placed. Well done to Pillar Sunday, he rode a cracker. I mean, he, when, they, when he placed him fourth, I said, well, we had to find three links on the others and we've done it already. So, Correct. So we've just got to find the finish. That's it. Oh, Mr. Ledger, you're going to get 5,000 Rand from Petway. Well done. That'll go a long way, I'm sure. It helps a lot. Thanks. There we go. 5,000 Rand from Jonathan Bloomberg and his team at Betway. A big well done to Mr. Led. Last word from the winning groom. Congratulations, sir. Um, I know he's a horse that stays all day and he's won a good race today. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I said thank you, my boss. Thank you, the groom, Sipo Park. I'm presuming Sipo Park. Yep. Me. Yes. Me, my spy boy. My name is Monello. Okay, well, there we go. Will you take the 1,500 Rand? Thank you very much to World Sports Betting and, of course, to Warren Tannis. And that's how we close off the day. It's been a good day. Some good results, some bad results. As I would say, that's racing. Uh, we've really been treated to some good finishes. I'm going to wrap up by saying good night. We'll chat again on Thursday at the Vol.